What's going on pack? It's Quack here today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get KPD in Krunker. And I'm not gonna be just saying, oh, just a playing game. No, I'm actually gonna be telling you guys the actual KPD recruitment process and how you can potentially become KPD. As always, if you guys do enjoy the video, then let me know by dropping a like and subscribing to the channel, because why not? And tap that notification bell so I know that you guys are digging the videos. Also, if you guys do have any additional questions after watching the video and still don't understand something, just let me know in the comments down below or join my Discord server, link on screen or in the description down below. It's the best way to contact me, so be sure to come hang out. So, topics that I want to cover today include explaining the KBD call system, how the call system works and what the trust factor is in the KBD call system, and how to network yourself with other KPD officers and hopefully in return, get recommended to join the KPD one day. And if you guys didn't know, I am in the KPD and I have been a part of the KPD since before KPD was even established, back when it was called in-game mods. So I feel I have a really good understanding of how KPD functions now and how you guys can get recommended to join the KPD rather than just applying in-game. And before I push any further, let's discuss some prerequisites that you should take into consideration before trying to push yourself to join the KPD. The first prerequisite is that you have to be able to record your own games. It's a very important part of the KPD infrastructure. Everybody in the KPD records their own games, so you have to be able to record your own games at a decent quality and a decent frame rate. Whether it's through OBS Studio or NVIDIA Shadowplay, just have to be able to record your own games. That's very important. Now the next prerequisite is that you have to have really good game knowledge. Now that might be just a no brainer, but it's very important that you understand where the common pre-fire spots are, where people like to rotate to, so you have a good understanding if someone's actually cheating or if they're just an alt trying to look like they're cheating. And the last thing that I want to check off before we continue is that you have to have an overall positive reputation in the Krunker community, okay? You can't be involved with any past controversy or drama or have said anything really bad about the game over social media, okay? You have to have an overall positive reputation in the community. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to explaining the KPD call system. So as many of you may know by now, in order to even call the KPD, you have to be at least level 25 in order to make a call. And if you don't know how to make a call to the KPD, all you have to do is just open up the alt menu in Krunker and there's a little blue police button next to where you would vote kick a player. Click that button on the player who you think is cheating and the recall request to the KPD is made. To also note, the amount of calls that you can make in a day to the KPD also depends on your call trust score. So the higher your trust score goes, the more calls you can make in a day. And the type of calls that you should be making to the KPD include stuff like aimbotting, wall hacking, auto b hopping, or extreme cases of boosting. I would not recommend that you report someone to the KPD if they're TDMing or they're not blatantly hacking because the KBD officer might have a harder time judging your call and you might be likely to receive a negative call score. And don't worry if the hacker leaves your lobby, we do know who the caller and the suspect are so if they do leave, we do know that they left the game so you will not be affected. So if the officer does mark your review as helpful that yes they were cheating, your call score will go up and vice versa if they weren't cheating then your call score will go down and it will affect how you rank the next time you want to make a call. And if a KPD officer is actively looking through the calls, it will be sorted from highest trust score to lowest trust score. So obviously the higher your trust score, the higher priority will be to get your call answered. And the lower your trust score, the lower the priority that your call will be answered. And if you haven't made a KPD call before, your trust score is defaulted to be zero out of zero. The first number in that factor being the amount of helpful calls you've made and the denominator being the amount of total calls you've made. So let's say you've had five good calls out of Eight calls in total, it'll say five over eight. Now that you understand how the KPD call system and score work, I wanna discuss my next talking point, which is increasing your score and along with networking yourself in the community and building your overall reputation. Having a high call score is important if you are new to the community or you just haven't quite put yourself out there yet. And you know, I've seen people who have been recommended to the KPD in the past who've had over 50 positive calls, yet they get denied because Either they did something that negatively impacted them in, in the community or they are just not quite known yet in the community and the other officers just can't give their opinion because they just don't know the individual as a person. And let's say that you are having trouble getting your call score up, maybe because you're just playing at a time where there aren't many KPD officers online. 
The next best thing that you can do that will help a lot is create a YouTube channel of all of your unlisted evidence of all the hackers that you've caught because if a KPD officer does recommend you to join the KPD, they can use your channel as a reference to show the others your dedication to catching cheaters in game. And it's awesome because that's one of the things that we do as KPD is that we have to archive any big evidence that we have. So having that practice already is a huge bonus. And let's say for instance that you are that one individual who doesn't have a friend or a colleague who is already in the KPD who would be possibly monitoring you to see if you'd be suitable for a recommendation to join the KPD. What I would do then is try to network yourself with the current officers. And for example, if you are a content creator trying to push to be KPD, I'd recommend you try and find other KPD members who are also streamers or YouTubers and be a part of their community, you know, talk in their chat and that way that officer gets to know you more as a person and maybe potentially down the road recommend you to join the KPD. Or let's say for instance that you're a pickup player. What I would do then is just try and network yourself with the staff team of the scrim server that you're participating in. So let's say NAC or KPC because the staff team there are more than likely have the KPD perms because they require those privileges to be able to keep their pickup games clean. So either try to get yourself known in the staff team or get yourself in the staff team and your likelihood of getting a recommendation could be much higher. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope this video gave you some more insight as to what you could be doing to become KPD. And if you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments down below or in my Discord server, link in the description down below. This has been Quacky, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, the flicks are spicy today, bro.